Hello, my name is Bob Williams. I'm out here on Stewart Farm on Harsons Island in Lake St. Clair, Michigan. And today is July 14th, 2015. A very special day for those who like to know about spacecraft and about planets because today we have the New Horizons probe fly by the planet Jupiter, or planet Pluto. And uh, this is the first time we've had any good pictures of Pluto. And in honor of this day, uh, I was talking to a friend of mine who is a geologist uh, about Pluto, and he said, you know, people have no idea. They don't have a concept of how far it is from the Earth to Pluto. And so I happen to have a scale model out here on Stewart Farm of the solar system, and I'd like to show that to you, and perhaps it'll give you an idea and a sense of how far it is from the Earth to Pluto. Now I'm going to start out by showing you our barn because when we get to Pluto we're going to look back at the barn and you'll see how far we traveled. Let's start out showing you our scale model. These posts that you see here each have one of the planets on it. The first one right in front of you is the Sun. And this model is at a scale of 1 to 8, one to eight billion. That means Anything in our model, if you blew it up 8 billion times, it would be the correct size. Here we are at the first planet, Mercury, and right there in the middle of this post, that little dot is Mercury, the smallest of the planets other than Pluto, if you count Pluto as a planet rather than a dwarf planet. And we're now flying on to Venus. There is Venus, and let's move on to the Earth. We're now 92 million miles from the sun already. We're traveling at faster than the speed of light. And there is the Earth. By the way, if you're interested in the moon, the moon is that little dot over on the edge of this. And that distance from the Earth to the moon is to scale. And on to Mars, the red planet. It's red because of all the iron. There is Mars. Now, we're going to take this spacecraft over here to finish our travels. Otherwise, this video would take much too long. And on we go. Our first flyby out here is going to be the asteroid belt. Right there, a pile of sand representing millions of objects out in the asteroid belt, ranging in size from about the size of your fist to the size of a Volkswagen and even up some up to 12 miles long. Here we are at the first gas giant, Jupiter, the biggest of all of the planets. We are 483 million miles from the Earth already. And uh, Jupiter, as I said, is a gas giant. It's the first of the four planets uh, which are gas giants, which consist much of uh, a core similar to the Earth. Uh, iron and, and rock and so forth, but the exterior, most of what you see is actually a gas ball around the outside. Here we are now at Saturn, 888 million miles from the Earth already. You don't see any rings on my Saturn because if I did the rings to scale, they would be too small for you to actually see. And uh, I did try putting a washer on there representing those rings, but a bird came along and pecked it off. Uh, a few years ago, we had um, a probe that went to Saturn that we just passed here, and it took about five years for that to get there to take some pictures. Uh, actually, when the probe got to Saturn, it took so long for signals to get back and forth to the Earth that uh, they had to have that probe all set up to automatically control itself. They couldn't make any decisions on its behalf during its flight. And here we are at our next planet, Uranus, another gas giant, 1.7 billion miles from the Earth already. Now in this golf cart, oh I'm sorry, this spacecraft that we're traveling in travels at, let's say, 10 miles an hour roughly. Well, in our model, we are traveling at about 80 billion miles an hour. Now that is pretty fast. If you consider that light travels at 196,000 miles a second, which is comparable to about 
700 million miles an hour. Right now we're traveling at over a hundred times the speed of light. Never thought anything could travel faster than the speed of light, but we have proven them wrong. And here we are approaching Neptune, the last of the gas giants. We are now 2.8 billion miles from the Earth and heading for our destination, the planet Pluto, which you can see off in the distance on that post. And let me tell you that if you are interested in being an astronaut and going to Pluto, if you you'd really have to dedicate your life to it because if you joined NASA NASA when you were 25 years old and when you were 26 they put you on a space shuttle to go to the planet Pluto you would be 50 when you got there you would do a year's worth of research they put you on a spacecraft shuttle to send you back home and you would get home and you'd be 75 years old here we are approaching our destination of Pluto we are 3.6 billion miles from the Earth, and Pluto is right there, a little dot. I won't get much closer or we'll be out of focus. And welcome to Pluto and our scale model. And as I turn around to show you how far back it is to the barn, that's about a half a mile, and it's all to scale. So welcome to Stewart Farm, and I hope we've given you a sense of how far it is from the Earth to Pluto. Goodbye.